When you think about today and today's youth and how they're witnessing and participating in so many dramatic global events, I think stories like this, like this film, really just reaffirm how resilient and empowered we all can be once we find our strength and once we find our voice to stand up to, you know, whatever the forces are that may keep us down. The theme of strong, empowered women throughout this movie, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, is one of the driving factors that really made me want to be a part of this movie. So yes, the women of the darkest minds are definitely a force to be reckoned with. I love that Kate is just this great example of strength and authority. You know, she holds a few cards close to her chest, and I liked that aspect of the character a lot. Um, but that's just one of the things that drew me to being a part of the movie. There's so many important themes in this film, but I think one of the most important is the idea of being true to ourselves. I think that's something that everybody can relate to in this story. These kids have lost everything. They've lost their families because not only have they survived something horrific, but it's also changed them. And in a sense, you know, trust is not in great supply for them. So this is a family that they have created from being on the run and really a family that was made from survival. So as this, this group endures one challenge after another of, you know, just being on the road, they begin to, to work together to find common ground and they really start to trust each other and then those walls start to come down. And I think it's such a great thing to see because we know now that the definition of family is one that we do have a hand in creating. So they, they become a strong family throughout the thread of this movie, even when they're tested, they know what's true about their group. And I love that idea. I mean, there was definitely new territory for me in this movie. I liked a lot of the chase aspects of the film. I felt like an action star for a couple days. It was, you know, it was this real rush of adrenaline to help, you know, a character escape from something so scary and frightening. I mean, I could not be more impressed with someone than I am with Amandala. She is exceptional in pretty much every way. She does all of the heavy lifting of this movie as Ruby. Jen is a force. I loved working with her. She's a quiet force though, which I really loved. She just, she knew what this movie was from its inception. From the first time I met her and sat down with her, she just, and she did a tremendous job with the movie. I think her visual sense as an artist coming from like the world of animation and having to be so unbelievably prepared. I remember sitting with her initially like when I got to Atlanta and we went through like her entire shot list and everything was like sketched out. I just, I've, I've never been a part of something like that. So I think that's really where her role as, as a true artist like factored into this. It, it played a huge role. I think that The Darkest Minds is inherently a hopeful story because in the midst of, of chaos and uncertainty, we see moments of great beauty in the movie. And I think that the hope is really found in the story of these kids banding together to make sense out of that chaos that they're living in. Hi guys, it's Vali here. So, keeping with the sci-fi theme, I have some interesting facts from sci-fi movies for you. The unedited original version of Alien had a runtime of around 190 minutes, which was eventually reduced to 117. The thing had two characters named Mac and Windows. In Gattaca, Uma Thurman's character is called Irene Cassini, named after Italian astronomer Giovanni Domenico Cassini, who discovered the four satellites of Saturn, as well as the distance between each of the rings of the planet. What's your favorite sci-fi film? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Bye-bye!